are we able to sustain 8 billion people without pesticides? And if the answer is no, we can't, then perhaps we need to start looking at how can we make it better, not by running away and going to organic. It's by taking that next leap and saying pesticide neutralizer, one product. Second product is is the um, be able to wash your fruits and vegetables with this, uh, a similar thread as the pesticide neutralizer, and um, it works better. Um, and then the third one is those who have already been poisoned by pesticides, and it actually create a drink. Same thread, different, slightly different ingredients, but you could neutralize the past pesticides inside your body. I know people would definitely be interested in that. Um, people, yeah. you know, already interested in like smoothies and right. things along that line that you know feel or believe to be part of being healthy. So I think that's a great place to. It's a great avenue to be in. I think, and you've also framed it excellently. You know that. Mm. If we can't do anything about it, then most folks aren't shopping at Whole Foods. That's so right. that means you ha- your your market share is most folks. And that's already a great place to start your business. <laughs> well, three items that create cash flow that will support and drive the education of what happens with something that has killing power, right? So you have a killing power and you have maximum concentration. Well, you, would, you, would you leave a bomb? you know, uh, you know, active, right? You would, you would want to defuse the bomb, right? So you have a bomb that has killing power that can kill, what can kill cockroaches can probably kill honeybees, right? And, and that's part of our food chain. And since you studied biology, you know that, that, you know, affecting someone in the food chain is probably not a good idea, right? So right. yeah, where does all that stuff go? Up. Right, so pesticides for farmers, they get the full effect. There's a lot of articles on that. But also pesticides being applied by landscapers. Uh, people on the front lines, they suffer. They suffer nerve damage. They have anger issues. They got liver issues. But they also have ADHD, and so their children, just because you're servicing shouldn't mean that your, your family and your, your children suffer. You did not offer to have the, the collateral damage reach your own family, right? Mm. Yeah. So if you like it, you know, this is this is what has um, taken the lead. And so um, my idea of winning is not winning the competition like like what happened at the pitch. My idea of winning is having a project that um, that lasts a lifetime and then many lifetimes after this. I think you've got that. Um, So this this was the Wharton pitch. That's the Wharton one. That's right. Yeah, I can see why you won. So oh, um, one yeah. one thing I'll say is that I, uh, what you just said is 100% seen in the work that you were just talking about, mm. um, you know, making something that's going to change the world that your kids live in after you're gone. And that's yeah, the most yeah. meaningful work that anyone can do. So, yeah, we just have to do that. I mean, I mean, come on, guys, you know, winning. And then uh, haven't we done that when we, we give a trophy and then and then you lose some friends because they didn't get the trophy. Uh, but if you didn't get the trophy, you also, you know, might be eliminated because, you know, you're now at the bottom of the pile. So that whole model doesn't work, right? Competition and see who wins. How about we set our new goals is Monopoly game. How can I keep you captive without you knowing so that I have to work hard at winning? But then when you pass go, I pay you $1,000, five times more than what it says on the rules. Um, no one says you can't give someone that. And I keep you thinking that we can play for 50 hours. You you love that game so much. You you think he's this is so fun, so different, that you just come back. We'll, we'll go out to dinner. I'll pay for dinner. Keep playing Monopoly with me, um, and and you know that's that would be very cool. So my whole idea of these startups is 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 to build conversation and friendships. Um, same thing with this um, this thing I want to do, uh, possibly with your help um, to launch it is how to help you um, make up 40% of your salary that you're currently at risk for under that employment, but let's work closer to- towards that so that you, you, can, you can have a smooth life. If you, could, if you could take out 40% of your earned income and then nothing happens at your job and you, you have your job for 30 years or, or whatnot, you just have a 40% raise. You know? Yeah. No, that's a... Is one thing you're you're good at doing is definitely uh, formulating business plans. So I, I think all of those endeavors will find success. I'm especially interested in the in the pesticide pitch. Wow. Um, because <laughs> all right, 
you I think that a fan, huh? Okay. <laughs> All right. Well. Yeah, no, because I think there's it's one of the things that like I think people know were important. Like they're like, hey, I know species are going extinct, but like I don't really know how it impacts me. I know pesticides are not good for me, but how does it impact me? Until you know you're 20 years down the line, like I remember all those articles about the bees. Until you get to a point of we've done too much damage to the bees, and now there's a point of no return. So uh, I think that that's some really impactful work, and I'm happy to know that folks are working on it, and folks is you know as brilliant as you were working on it. So I, I'm definitely excited to see what comes of that. Well, um, I kind of to remind everyone: this is executive education. This is not undergraduate. This is not an MBA. We know stuff, and you know the most important thing is that if we, if I can't earn everyone's friendship at Harvard and Wharton at the executive level, I failed, right? So, so I look at it that way. You know, it's not about anything else. It's like we all we all got into this because we we all have made great successes in life. If we suddenly uh, forget and go back to, I'm I'm sure we all competed well when we were in undergrad. That's why we got to where we are. But that doesn't lead to more friendships that that system is why we have only 10 friends or less and we can count them with our hands because we you know no one wants to see someone compete whether you win or not it's not a good it's not a good feeling yeah yeah we'll see well yeah um well now they're pinging me i'm about to do the radio show um, in San Francisco, okay. but the country, the, the state, the country we're targeting uh, as our first launch is the United States, and the and the state we're targeting is California. Um, so, so I, I think it'll be very well received there. <laughs> oh, okay. You know. Well, thank you for your vote of confidence. Um, I, I hope we can stay in touch no matter what happens. I mean, I'm I'm glad you you have your position and you're safe, uh, but you know you never know. So always always feel free to um, to never let. Your um, your role and my role, um, uh, you know, limit our relationship. No, of course, I, I've I've gained so much from our interactions, and you know, there's the, the duties of the job and informing you what you need as a student. But I get a lot more out of these conversations than that. So um, definitely, you know, I look forward to just you know keeping tabs even from a distance on the things you do and maybe staying in contact as you know we both progress and uh, I get into later parts of my career and maybe you know hit the big one on one of your ideations and you can kind of sit back and relax and just <laughs> kind of have other people work on your ideas for you well i i view things like this is i could be actually talking to my student success advisor you and you might be the most powerful man in the future and i, I you know <laughs> it's not it's not always me it could, probably could be you right so who knows right anything is possible um treat others you know it, it, with that kind of mindset and you'll you'll Th things things will just be better if you think of things like that way. Whether or not it happens, you're gonna say, "Wow, that student really treated me like I was king, like I was someone really important." It's because I tell myself every day, you know, <laughs> you could be right the most important. That's how I have to treat you. I agree. You know, say hi to everyone. <laughs> I took a photo with you, right? It was like, it was yeah. like, I mean, well, why would you do that? Uh, and you know, I, I, every photo I took, I spoke to practically no one, um, but I, I had thirty seconds with each person taking photos, <laughs> and then added up, right? Yeah, it works out. Yeah. yeah, but I won't let you be late to your your radio show. Yeah. Um, if you do need anything else, you know, please let me know, and yeah. um, you know, best of luck with everything. Because in you winning, I think a good portion of humanity wins as well. So 